House and committee rooms in Ottawa to fulfilling their duties in their constituencies, a member of Parliament's job is full and diverse. CPAC headed to the riding of Wellington Halton Hills in Ontario on a festive day where Conservative MP, the Honourable Michael Chong, the first Chinese Canadian from Ontario elected to Parliament, talks about his work and shares some highlights of his riding. It's not often you get to see your local MP leading a parade on horseback. Always up for a challenge, MP Michael Chong did just that for the first time in the town of Erin. Snow, cold winds, and the frigid temperature couldn't keep him away. We had a squall come in. We get these streamers off Lake Huron that end up uh, coming across Wellington County, and we had one of those today. The temperature dropped by about five degrees. I couldn't see. I couldn't see more than five feet in front of me. And but you're a trooper all the way. We made it through the parade. I'm afraid to close my eyes. I think they actually might freeze shut if I do that. <laughs> Hi, Tony. How are you? Nice Good to, to see you. Nice to see you. Warmed up and back to work at his constituency office in his hometown of Fergus, Chong talks about a unique distinction he earned a decade ago. I was very proud uh, to find out that in 2004, when I was first elected, I was the first uh, Canadian of Chinese descent to be elected to the Canadian House of Commons from Ontario. He was born to a Chinese father from Hong Kong and a Dutch mother. Both encouraged him and his siblings to help others. We grew up um, in a household where our parents constantly told us that we had to give back to our communities. And so when I had the opportunity to run in this riding and make a contribution to Canada, I, I did it. And uh, I'm so happy that I'm able to make these communities, this province and this country a better place to live. So I understand, uh, Tony, that uh, you've got an application in for a tree inventory protocol yes. with the township. Yes. Excellent. Yes. During my day here at the office, I, I have meetings with individual constituents or, or groups of constituents. In between those meetings, I, I return phone calls and work through my correspondence. I'm so proud to be able to represent the good people of Halton Region and Wellington County in the House of Commons. Chong, who became the second Chinese Canadian in our history appointed to cabinet, previously served as the Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs and Minister of Sport in 2006. He shed some light on his workday on the Hill. In Ottawa, I have parliamentary duties to attend to, whether it's uh, sitting as a member of a standing committee or whether it's house duty. Um, each and every day, uh, there's question period that uh, I attend. And uh, in between all those meetings, there are national and regional caucus meetings, uh, other caucus meetings, and um, meetings I take with stakeholders and lobbyists. His largely rural riding covers about 1,500 square kilometers. The main industry is manufacturing, but agriculture is a close second. The area is home to nearly 115,000 residents, close to 90 percent of them are native-born Canadians. About 10 percent are immigrants. Interestingly enough, uh, uh, compared to many of the urban ridings in this country, our largest source of immigration uh, into this riding is from the United Kingdom, closely followed by immigrants from uh, Germany and the Netherlands. And that's a, a result of the large farming component in this riding, which attracts a lot of farmers who immigrate from uh, Europe. A few of the many places of note in the riding, Eden Mills, a small community hoping to become the first to go carbon neutral in North America. The Harris Woolen Mill Ruins, a popular site in the Rockwood Conservation Area, which received nearly $800,000 in federal government funding towards its restoration. We stepped forward to help out with a grant that would restore the ruins so that they'd be safe and that they would uh, not further deteriorate. So the project's been complete and I'm happy to say that the GRCA is once again generating revenues from that site to help maintain all the facilities they have throughout the Grand River watershed. Economic growth and job creation are major concerns for his constituents, but that's not all. Closely following that though are concerns about uh, electoral reform, about parliamentary reform. I, I consistently hear from people that they'd like to see Parliament reformed. What are some of the reforms that your constituents tell you they'd like to see in Parliament? Probably the biggest one I hear is that they would like to see their member of Parliament represent their views to Ottawa 
and they'd like to see local control over party nominations. Um, that's probably the single biggest uh, concern I've heard from constituents over the years. We spoke with Chong prior to his tabling the Reform Act of 2013, a bill that aims to rebalance the power that MPs have with that of the Prime Minister's office. He has maintained it's not about the current government or any party leader. It's about making changes in future parliaments. If passed, the bill would only go into effect after the next federal election. MP Michael Chong is committed to giving back to his community and his country. Reporting from the riding of Wellington, Halton Hills in Ontario, I'm Heather Seaman.